Tonight is called Liquid Motion, and it's going to build upon what we focused on last week, which was power posture and alignment secrets. So what I want to do today is kind of like the outline, the uh, teaser trailer for today. We'll review last week. So we're going to stack all of the, the specific points. We're going to create lines with those points, and then we're going to like settle into those points. But it's not going to be like a settle. It's going to be like a settle, but like an expansion. So, and then once we've aligned it, then we're going to move it. And then you're going to feel it. So this is going to have like a biomechanical, a neurological, and uh, I'm not going to get too foo-foo, but it's going to have some type of spiritual component. And the way I look at it, we want to align our head kind of like first thing in the morning. We want to align our thoughts. We want to align our heart. We want to align our entire body. And kind of like most importantly, we want to align and move our spine because the spine protects the most vital nerve channel in the human body, your spinal cord. Our brain is protected by the skull. We don't really have a whole lot of access to the brain itself unless we move the spine. And that's a really important uh, feature concept for you to take away. This would be like when we go around in a circle, what's the biggest takeaway? And the biggest takeaway for me would be movement of the spine drives and energizes your brain because the entire body is booby trapped with nerves. Like all of the joints, there's 360 joints in the entire body. The entire body, especially the joints are booby trapped with nerves. So your body, rather your brain wants to know, is it, do you have full range of motion? If you have full range of motion, you're gonna get rewarded with positive neurological signals. It's called like proprioception. If you're jammed up, you'll have toxic neurological signals called nociception. One's called proprioception, one's called nociception. And then the spine, if you have a whole lot of nociception, you're gonna have a whole lot of noise. And this is gonna create a problem because your brain, your nervous system is trying to gather some type of impression from the external environment. If you're having a distorted uh, signal going into your brain, your brain's gonna have a negative, distorted response. So that's like a huge takeaway. Movement of, yep, yeah, movement of your spine runs your brain. All right, so from a biomechanical standpoint, we want to glide all of the joints in the body. And we're going to do that in a moment. And we just talked about that neurological component, the proprioceptive component. When you have a body that's free of nerve interference, it's going to function better. The spiritual component, when you've removed all of this nervous interference, the nerve interference, you're actually able to um, exist in a relaxed, calm state. You might actually feel like your heart open and you'll be nicer to people. So I don't know about you, but in the morning, I'm kind of like a little bit intense, you know, like I'm not like, uh, what's up? I'm like, whew, I'm on. Like I actually have to do my whole sequence just to kind of like, okay, smooth out, chill out. So the sequence that we're going to do today was created as a precursor for my morning yoga practice. Back in the old days, I did Ashtanga, uh, very vigorous. Um, it can be vigorous. Yeah, it's a very athletic flavor of yoga, but it had great discipline. You know, you get up at 6 a.m., you did like a two-hour practice, and just it just had so many amazing components. The problem is the practice was hurting me. It was very confronting and challenging for my tightness, for my past injuries, all that stuff. So I created a system, kind of like a self-diagnostic system, where first of all, I started focusing on all, all of my weak poses, the poses where I just kind of like shut down, I was blocked in, I was restricted. I was kind of like a level, if there's like a level one as being a beginner, it'd be kind of like my level, you know, lowercase a, you know, it was like the, the primordial pose. So started doing a practice that cleaned up all of my deficiencies. And if you have a yoga practice, there's a lot of yogis um, in here, take a look at your practice and say, hey, these are the poses that, 
you know, I have a little bit of trouble and these are the poses I have some tightness or restriction and design or ask me and we can design a little vinyasa pattern a breath movement pattern within a specific range so that you can kind of like clean that up and then when you get into your yoga practice that area is smoothed out so it's like you've like taken out a little small piece that you don't do very well cleaned it up and then insert it back in so then this whole kind of like self-diagnostic practice led to this this practice which is just like lubricate all the joints in the spine because let's say I don't have the two hour yoga practice, I have 10 minutes. So this is a practice that you can kind of like lubricate everything. It's the precursor to a stretching yoga practice. Yoga is just breath and movement, so this will be like a dynamic vinyasa style practice.